guys, I'm Brittany Rivers and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you all how I customize this 4x4 curly wig by Dye Hair. This is only 20 inches. This is shorter than usually, but I think like for curly hair, that's kind of cute. I rarely get like curly, curly hair, but here's the closure, you guys. I decided to do a side part, but let's go ahead and get into this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Madam Brittany. And let's get into this video, you guys. Okay, so the company I'll be working with today is Dye Hair 777. They sent over their 20 inch 4x4 lace closure wig um, with the curly texture. So let's go ahead and open up this little bag and show you all. So the curls are super duper kinky, very cute. Not a curl pattern I'm used to. And like I said, it's the four by four closure. And I realized on the sides, there actually is like just a little lace, like a centimeter of lace, which is cool. I hadn't ordered a 4x4 closure wig in at least a year, so I wasn't used to the way they're making them now or if it's just this company. But on the side, you could see when while I'm putting it on the mannequin head, there's just a little bit of lace right there. So when the wind blows, it's not showing like all the tracks. That's one reason I stopped wearing closure wigs, but that was cool that if they're making it like that now, that's cool. But if it's only this company, that's cool too. Check them out. So the good thing about a 4x4 closure is you don't need a lot of developer or product to bleach the knots. So I'm just using 30 volume developer, the little, little bottle, um, and BW2 powder. And I just mix it in a random cup. And I love using a butter knife to put the bleach on the lace. You'll see in a second. Um, so really, we're just going to use one scoop and maybe like a fourth of a second scoop. And then I just kind of eyeball how much creamer I I want to use well developer and the key to getting the perfect consistency is when you lift your butter knife nothing should be falling down from the butter knife you'll see me do the test in a little bit so you see I'm holding the knife upside down and none of the bleach is slipping off of the knife you really don't need a lot at all to do a 4x4 closure to bleach its knots so I'm just spreading it on there like I'm frosting a cake. You don't have to work it in. You don't want to because you don't want to get any on the actual hair. But you're just like kind of lightly putting it on the lace. Okay, so I left the bleach on for 40 minutes, you guys. And now we are about to go rinse off the bleach. Okay, so TikTok taught me this secret directly after bleach, rinsing off the bleach. Go in with purple shampoo. I use shimmer lights. It's really the best one, you guys. But it is kind of expensive to me. Like, it's $13 for shampoo. I've never heard of that. But I'm not going to use a lot because, once again, it's expensive. I had to show you all. So I'm just going to work it in a little bit and leave it on the lace without rinsing it off for 15 to 20 minutes. This will remove the yellowness in the knots that you get from bleaching basically anything. So now we're just going to rinse it off. Okay, I want you all to take a good look at this hairline. I did um, have just a little bit of bleach seep through, not a lot, but we are going to pluck the mess out of this hairline. You see it's really, really thick. Um, that's good because it gives you more to work with. But yeah, you see this hairline needs some work. So I've recently changed the way I like to pluck my wigs. I like to position myself behind the wig and literally treat it like it's a person. So I stand behind the wig and I 
like I'm kind of like holding it back with my left hand. I'm right handed, you all. And the right hand, I'm plucking the hair backwards, pulling it towards me, like literally pulling it out the hairline. So first I just do the front of the hairline, not parting it or anything. You can already see how it's changing a little bit. Like you can look at that little spot to the left compared to how everything else looks basically. And I wanted you all to see how angled my tweezers are. So these tweezers are a little more angled than my old ones. I really love these. So you can see the difference of where I've plucked right there and where I haven't, that side. So on the other side over there is like not really the closure anymore. So that's why that's a little thicker. I may still try to pluck that. So you see, we're just still plucking backwards and we're gonna go all around the closure. You can kind of see how it's coming together now. Like I am kind of paying attention to the way Tay's wigs look in the front now. And it's just not too thin, but it does have like these little fine hairs at the top of all of his closures or frontals. And that's what I'm trying to create here. Okay, so this is how the wig looks just plucking the front. You see, I haven't parted in the closure whatsoever yet, but now I'm going to part maybe about an inch off, pull that to the front, and I'm going to stand behind the wig again. I felt like I um, parted too much that time. So I'm just gonna part it just a little bit thinner this time. And I'm going to do the same plucking method, pulling it backwards towards me again and you see I'm plucking the bigger section not the section I pulled out at the front so we're just gonna keep doing that and this will be the last like time we part it and I will give dye hair 777 some credit like that lace looks good you guys even when I part it it just looks good I will give them that but we are almost done Okay, so this is the finished result of the closure. It looks good. It looks good. Not too thick, not too thin. I did not pluck the sides over there, but I really like the job I did this time. And you can see, like, this is a really nice closure, you guys. I'm not going to lie. And I'm someone who doesn't really even wear closures. This is a nice closure, okay? Okay, it's giving scalp. It's giving scalp, you guys. Let me do my makeup. Okay, so I decided to do a side part. It's still like, even the way I position the wig, I could still probably do a middle part without even moving the wig over. But it's super duper cute. The hair is soft and all of that so far, but I've had it in for like five seconds. <laughs> but um, it's so, so pretty. But yeah, and when you lift it, like it's not even like bad looking over there to the side. Like if the wind was blowing, you still probably, you can't just see like tracks or something. So that's really, really good. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, 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 and have a great day, you guys. Bye.